I'm John. I lived a long time ago, and there are true stories about me in the Bible. This story is probably my favorite. This story is so important that it can be found in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You can read it for yourself and know it's true. You remember that God gave me a very special job? I was to get the people ready for the Messiah, the Christ, the one God promised to send all of us Israelites to save us. We had been waiting for hundreds of years, but now the Messiah, Jesus, had come and was all grown up, ready to start his ministry. This is how it began. I had been baptizing the people to show that they were turning away from sin and turning to God. I saw Jesus coming toward me and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He is the one I was talking about when I said, A man is coming after me who is far greater than I am, for he existed long before me. Jesus came to the Jordan River to be baptized by me, but I objected and tried to talk him out of it. I am the one who needs to be baptized by you, so why are you coming to me? I mean, I'm baptizing with water. Jesus is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. But Jesus said to me, For now this is how it should be, because we must do all that God requires. Well, I want to do what God wants me to do, so I agreed to baptize him in the Jordan River. After his baptism, as Jesus came up out of the water, something amazing happened. The heavens were opened, and I saw the Spirit of God descending on him, sort of like a dove landing on him. And a voice from heaven said, this is my dearly loved son, with whom I am pleased. Do you know who said that? Yes, God the Father. I saw this happen to Jesus, so I testify that he is the Son of God. A few years after this, Jesus was still doing all God wanted him to do. That included dying on the cross for the wrong things we have done. Jesus never disobeyed God and was the perfect one to save us from the punishment we deserve. Three days later, he came back to life, showing he has power to save us from sin and to give us life with him. When you believe this, trusting and having faith it is true for you, God gives you a new life and makes you his child. You can talk to God about this today. This reminds me of our Bible verse, Galatians 3, 26. For in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God, through faith. This is a promise from God. God always keeps his promise. We can trust him. If you have Jesus as your Savior, you can know you have a new life because God made you his child. He is your loving Father and you can trust he is with you forever.